All right, so the reason that I'm pulling all the uh, the tires and the axles apart and, and uh, clean, cleaning all the bearings up is because of this. So I noticed this when we're on the road. So if you have a look. So I don't know if you can see that really well on the video, but the, um, on this side. So as you can see, the, the whole wheel's moving. So that's the reason um, I'm pulling all the, uh, the rims off and the axles apart. So um, I'll run you through how to pull it all apart and then put it all back together. All right, so as we're pulling any tire off, um, crack your nuts before you jack the van. Uh, otherwise, you won't be able to crack the nuts and you'll have to drop the van again and start again. Um, and because I'm taking both tires off, I've got the jack under the back and I've got an axle stand under the front um, just for a bit of added safety. Um, but yeah, so we'll get both these tires off and start turning the drums down so you can see how it goes. Off. Um, bring in a bit closer. So you got the center, center cap on the drum. Um, so I pretty much just get a pretty fine tip screwdriver. Fine tip screwdriver, come on the top, and then just work your way around. Now get a bigger screwdriver and sort of just twist the head and pop the cap. Uh, grab some rags. Bend your split pin out. So the center nut comes off. Then your hub just pulls straight out, so. that so what I do is I, um, I get a rag and I'll um, just lay it down a couple of layers and turn the drum upside down uh, so we can push that center bearing out um, the inside bearing and the way we do that is um, just get a bit of timber that fits in the hole slide it down and in and just tap from the top Making sure that we move it around. And yeah, it'll just, it'll pop out and you'll feel it pop. Um, and that's how your inner bearing comes out. So you got your seal and then you got the inner bearing. Um, I think Jayco have tried to service these bearings um, 
in one of the services and they haven't taken the inner bearing out and I'll show you why I think that is. We did, we did get the van serviced through Jayco, so that's why I'm picking this. But if you look down inside the drum, come here so you can see. Now, I don't know if you can see it in that light, but there's blue grease and um, the gray grease. So it looks like they've just pushed in some blue grease from the outer bearing side uh, and called it a day. So that's just my thoughts, but um, yeah, that's that's how you pull that apart. I'll um, I'll spray it all with some brake cleaner now. So I'm just using a bit of um, just from super cheap clean up brake cleaner. Um, spray everything down, clean the brake dust up, and then I'll put it all back together. All right, guys. Um, so here it is all pulled apart, so you just got to make sure that when you pull it apart and you clean it, you lay it up, lay it out as it comes out so you don't um, mess it up when you put it back in, because these bearings do have to go on the right side. Um, so for the axles and the bearings, I'm just using the Penrite high temp wheel bearing grease. Uh, I've got two tubs here, so hopefully that's enough, we'll see how we go. And to, uh, to grease the... Um, the trailing arms on the suspension, I've just gone with the Penrite Extreme Pressure Grease. Uh, I think it's suitable for it. Yeah, it's for shock loads, uh, water washout, pre uh, protects against rust and corrosion and long service life, uh, helps the grease stay in place. So I'll show you how we do that now and what to look for when you're doing it and um, hopefully we can get some good camera angles. But um, I bought this grease gun a long time ago, um, back when we had the Patriot. So. Hopefully the pen right tube works in here, we'll see how we go. Pretty much screw it together like that, flick the tab back up. Alright, so here's your grease nipple on the back of the uh, suspension. So pretty much just hook the grease gun up. And start pumping until grease comes out. Uh, so there you have it, uh, so grease is now coming out, which means it's done, it's starting to weep out the other end as well. So that's pretty much how you got to uh, grease your, um, your suspension up, and then I'll show you how to do the, the wheel hubs now. Alright, so I'm going to take you through the reassembly of um, the hubs and packing them with grease, so I'll just um, put the camera down here and talk to it, and then um, slowly talk you through what I'm doing. and. How we're going. All right, so pretty much to pack a bearing, um, all you do is you grab grab some grease, stick it on your hand. It's a pretty messy process, and then you just grab the bearing, and you sort of just knead it. Um, so you just sort of grab it and knead it in like that. And then you just keep going until the grease comes through the other side. As you can see, it's starting to poke through there on the other side. And you just keep working your way around the bearing. All right, so that's the rear bearing done, and now we'll do the um, front bearing. So I like to just do one tire at a time. Um, it um, saves you getting dirty too much. I found an easy way to actually pack the bearing is if you push the, the inner um, part in and pull the out, uh, outer part of the bearing forward, when you actually push down through the grease, it travels up a lot easier um, and doesn't take as long to get that grease coming up and through. Alright, now that that's all done, um, I've done the inner and outer bearing, we're pretty much um, push the rear bearing into the uh, the drum. I'll show you how to do that. And then we'll run through putting the tire back on and how I go putting uh, reseating the bearing. So I'm just um, out here sitting on some BCF mats. So I just sit the, um, the drum on that so I don't damage the studs or anything when I do this. Um, so you pretty much grab your inner seal, 
just make sure it sits pretty square in the uh, the back of the bearing after you drop it in there. Obviously apply um, some uh, grease in there as well. Then I just grab a soft mallet and just sort of tap the, uh, the bearing in. Until it's flush. And you just want to make sure you go in square. So now that's sitting all flush uh, with the inner of the drum. Wipe away the excess grease. Make sure you don't get any grease on the inside of your drum, and if you do, just use a bit of brake cleaner or something to, um, to get rid of it. As you can see, there's plenty of grease on there. Um, so now, we'll just slip the drum on. Uh, make sure your magnet's in the right spot. Just a bit of grease on that. Line our axle up, and then she just slips straight on. Now we grab our outer bearing. Slip that on. You might have to jiggle the drum a little bit to get it in. Now we've got our outer ring. So it's pretty easy to see where the bearing was running and where the nut was running. So you just put it back on the same way you take it off. I just put a little bit of grease on there uh, just to help it. The bearing move, move freely around it. That slips in over your nut. Over your shaft, sorry. <coughs> and then pretty much put the nut on. So I do have an axle stand under the caravan as well uh, as the jack to hold everything in place. Clean that up a bit. So pretty much now you spin it, so if you have a look, it still might have a bit of free play. Uh, so I just, will tighten this up a fair bit. And you'll actually feel when you over tighten the bearing. Um, that there's pretty close, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the tyre on and see how it goes moving. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I put the tyre back on and um, I'll put two nuts on just to um, firm the tyre up. Just to check for that free play that we originally discovered, and that's why I'm doing this. So, I can rock the van, yep, there's no free play there. Uh, so I'll hook the shifter up, and I just see, so that's moving a bit tightly. So I'll back it off a bit. She'll move freely, so I'll go like that. Oops. I just set my shifter up so I don't hit the rim. So I'll pretty much start spinning the tire, and then I'll slowly just tighten that up until the tire starts to feel some resistance. So that there looks pretty close to that split pin hole. So I'll go with that um, where it's tight there. But the tire is spinning freely as you can see, not grabbing or anything. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think we'll split pin it there. All right, so now, um, to split pin, I've always been taught um, working in aviation that you go from top to bottom um, and that's the most important thing. So, um,
was just failing up a little bit there. So when you do a split pin, um, I'll just angle this up so you can see. So the tail, you want the long side facing out. Uh, so you pretty much pull it down and then up and then bend it up and in. Uh, this way, it um, it locks it in and then make sure you push it back into the center because if you don't, you'll score the inside of your cup when you um, put your axle hub cap on. Uh, so that's the split pins in and done. There you go, it's all finished, that's what it looks like. So then our cap pretty much slips in over the top. Uh, then we just get a uh, soft mallet and then just tap the hub cap or the axle cap back in place. And that is done. All right, so that's it for how you service your bearings on our Jayco Journey Outback, um, the Alco axles. Uh, I hope you got something from the video. If you have any further questions, uh, drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you with it. But um, I hope you got something from the video. It's not that hard to do yourself. Um, you can give it a go, save yourself some money if you want. Uh, the main reason I'm doing mine is we noticed that the axles were a bit loose on the trip that we just did. Uh, and I wasn't happy with it and that we're about to sell the van, so I wanted to fix it up and sort that out for the new owner. Uh, big key points are make sure you lay it out as you pull it out um, and then put it back in the same way you pulled it apart. But um, yeah, I hope you found it useful. Again, if you liked it, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, please. Uh, it helps recommend our videos to other people and um, hopefully they get something out of it as well. All right, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time. Hi, sorry, good one. Dad, what are you doing? Dad, Daddy. Dad. Look at Daddy's dance.